Hi, I'm Dylan, uh, head coach of Schalke No Fear Esports. I already, in two videos before, did my predictions for the group stage, which I think were, of the teams that made it out, were completely correct, and my 10 players to watch at Worlds, which was just 10 players that I thought were interesting. So today, we're going to talk a bit about the quarterfinals. Um, the group stage, at least for me, went almost completely as I think most, most experts expected to go. I think the two teams that made it out of each group were the ones you could expect. I think there were a few like uh, small outliers in terms of performance. I think the TSM 06 was particularly epic in the losing every single game, even though I think a couple of the games were a bit close. Okay, first matchup, top esports versus Fnatic. Fnatic taking second in their groups, top esports taking first. Uh, I believe they went 5-1 with one loss to FlyQuest. Um, top Esports, uh, number one team from China this year, was pretty much considered one of the favorites to win the whole World Championships. Um, and Fnatic, I think in their wins, in their group stage, looked really, really good. But I don't see it just like as a European team in comparison to the number one team from China and just having a slightly worse record. I, I just don't see them as favorites going to this match. Um, I'd really be looking at how Fnatic's bot lane performs, uh, Reckless and Hilly. I think they played really, really well in the group space stage, especially in laning phase. They had games where like, they're getting first blood level one uh, or hard winning their lane level one, level two, stuff like this. Uh, although do I think they're up against a bit better competition when it comes to quarterfinals. Um, I really would love them for them to win. Uh, I'd be cheering for them, but I'd have to go with, I'd say a 3-1 for top esports here. Ooh, Sunin Gaining versus JDG um, is an interesting one uh, to me. Uh, battle of two Chinese teams. Uh, as always, I love watching Sunin Gaming play because I love watching SOFM play. One of my favorite junglers to watch. JDG though did outperform them in the LPL, so I'd imagine they'd be the favorites for this match. Um, it was interesting to me watching some of the Doonbees videos where he was a lot less convinced from JDG in this tournament and felt like JDG was an almost instant loss to even either top esports or Damwon. So although I'm going to say uh, JDG wins this, I, I don't know as much about the Chinese teams, but I, I'm going to assume JDG just wins this off of being a theoretically stronger team. Uh, we can go with, I guess, 3-1. Um, I think they're probably not favorites to go deeper in the tournament. Okay, Gen G versus G2, um, probably like the most important matchup if you're a fan of Western League of Legends and a match I think you should probably tune in to watch and everyone will be watching. Um, I think it's the biggest hope for the West is for G2 to win this match and go on a, like a deep run into the tournament. I think that Mickey X has had a really insane performance this tournament, like Hill is saying, like his bard was incredible and he's just playing so active and fearless on stage, which again, I think is one of like the benefits of uh, our European teams. Uh, I have to give benefit to G2 in these sort of clutch situations. So I'm gonna say G2 win this one 3-2 in, in a, a real real nail-biter. Um, Damon looks like the best team um, in the world. They were my favorites before this tournament. I, I thought they would win the World Championships and then they go into group stage in 6-0. So, Considering I thought they were going to win Worlds before the tournament even began, seeing them go 6-0, uh, I think they really handled Dragon X in the LCK Finals. I think they will again. I think this one won't be close. I think Damon with Showmaker have like the best mid jungle at the tournament, which I think is the most important. And their new ball lane is just so solid. And I think it just makes like such an insane composition to have. So um, I expect them to win this match. 3-0 and to me it's pretty clear that Damwon is a favorite to win Worlds and I would put top esports uh, slightly behind. I, I, I do think uh, a European team could make a deep run. It is If they really step it up, have good drafts and play really well in two best of fives, I could see it happen, right? It happened the last two years, but I just have to put them slightly below. So these were my predictions for quarterfinals. Uh, I'll be cheering for the European teams, of course, and can't wait to see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, any feedback is appreciated, and I'll see you guys after quarterfinals.